Morning children, I hope you all are fine. And uh, today for our English, we are going to do the book exercise. So take your English book and uh, take page number 61 and start writing. Make as many words as possible from the letters in the box and write them on the blanks. So Aunt, bet, beg, bin, gas, get, sin, bit, big, tin, sun, nose, gone, sage, aid. So these are the words you can make. And uh, next, in grammar, we're going to learn verb. What is a verb? Whatever we do, action. Whatever we are doing. For example, when you now uh, you are listening to the audio. Okay. So, listening is a... Your, what you are doing is listening. So, listening is a verb. You are sitting. Sitting is a verb. You are uh, walking. You are sleeping. You are eating. You are writing. All this. What action. That is, whatever you are doing is a verb. Words that tell us about the actions of a person, an animal, or a thing are called verbs. So, please children, I want you to memorize this. What is a verb? So, you should be able to answer words that tell us about the actions of a person, an animal, or a thing are called verbs. So, please learn this by heart. Write this in your rough note, no, rough note five times. Examples, Priya plays tennis. Place is a verb. A bird chips. So chirp, chips is a verb. The toy rattled. So rattled is a verb. Underline the verbs in these sentences. Kangaroos hop from place to place. Hop. It is a verb. Mother kangaroos carry their babies in a pouch. Carry. Is a verb. Tim sings in the school choir. Sings is a verb. Please underline. Use a pencil. A hand painted a beautiful picture. Painted. It's a verb. A leaf fell from the tree. Fell is a past tense of fall. Fall falling. In the past tense we say fell. Mrs. Wang speaks Hindi fluently. Speaks is a verb. Now circle the words, circle the verb, verb in the word search. Fill in the blanks with the verbs you have circled. So you can first circle, then after that you can write. Amy likes to dash storybooks. Read. You can see, isn't it, in the uh, from top to the bottom, uh, second row, you can see R E A D read. Roshan will dash a letter to Granny. Right. Who can sing the national anthem? Sing. A squirrel can climb a tree. Climb. Nina and Safi play in the park. Play. Ali and John walk to school. Walk. This is a thank you note. So you please write dear Aunt Maria. You can write dear Aunt Selvi. Dear Aunt Sabina. You can write any, any name you want. But write Aunt. Okay. Thank you so much for the lovely gift that you sent to me on my birthday. Full stop. It was exactly what I wanted. Exclamation mark is already there. You really are the best aunt in the world. Visit us soon. So, your niece. Niece means it's a girl. Nephew means boy. So, if you are a girl, strike out nephew. If you are a boy, strike out niece. Put just one dash on that knees. Okay. You don't be writing girl and boy there. That is for you to understand I have written. 
you don't write then then please name you too don't write name please write your name there okay children the question answer is only left that we'll write in the next class have a good day children bye